Good evening. It's May 12, 2021. Today's the 34th anniversary of uh, legal action that one could find at the appropriate time through the Department of Justice regarding mineral rights as it was engaged by litigation. Two of the companies involved uh, identified themselves as being based in and originating from Texas. One of them was originated from and based primarily in what is called Israel. It's the 34th anniversary. It means something to me. It's very profound. Two thousand seven through eight, I met some individuals. There was a lot going on. There was a lot of cosmic energy that was coming to Earth. A lot of possibilities were opening up. People were discovering things about themselves. My understanding at this time was that there had already been a wave. There had actually been two waves of people who had been born earlier than I had and that had come to consciousness of very important events that were going on around that time and that they had responsibilities to be a sort of way preparer to prepare the way for generations that came after them understanding that there were going to be very important people and very important spiritual callings that they were charged with creating the foundations for flourishing in regards to you know, and different people might have understood them in different ways depending upon where you were on the planet what the primary reference points were for consideration. Well, I was in the United States. I felt at the time, based upon what was going on, that I had encountered a group of people that I learned to have a great deal of affection for, but they were in a very serious situation. They were being misrepresented. There was a lot of covetousness. They had a very important role and a very important destiny. Somebody else thought that it was their prerogative to take their destiny and to take the things that they had as an inheritance and as a culture, take it from them, send it somewhere else where somebody would analyze it or investigate it, classify it, and then change it. You know, they didn't like the way they looked. They didn't like the way they acted. They wanted their legacy. They wanted their inheritance. They wanted what they had, but they didn't want it from them. Part of what was going on is a system had been implemented through the Department of Justice that was intentionally sabotaging specific people in specific places just by virtue of nothing more than their name fit into a sort of game scheme. And it became convenient to make a justification about how they had a need to do something to identify and find a way to shut down a criminal using other people that had similar names. They created other layers of crime, presumably to go after other criminals. And in the course, created criminals. The whole thing was just a pageant to distract us while they stole our souls and auctioned them off to people who really did not seem to get the fucking point about what it was they were encountering. And so what they did is they stripped everything down. And we're supposed to be broken, so we're dependent on their incredibly primitive ways of being. They want to devolve us. They want us at a simple, barely organic form. At this time, I encountered people that had an inheritance wherein they understood they were put here on the planet at this time as part of something that was part of the culture they had been raised with, specifically connected to the time frames associated with the Mayan calendar and the manners in which the 
linear time. The linear time, as it is primarily expressed in the Western world, had been unfolding in order to create moments that they understood were connected to things going on cosmically that we were able to be conscious of on Earth and communicate about, verbalize, speak about, write about, engage in and as. One of these people, I believe, understood himself to be a calendar keeper. This was very much a part of his calling and all the other manners in which one would engage with him. This was a very core aspect of his being in essence. There were many prophetic statements he made that may or may not have registered with people at the time. But what he said was very important. Now, presumably they say that the Mayan calendar came and went December 21st of 2012. Other people have said various things. My understanding is what has happened is that certain people conspired to devolve our planetary possibilities and that it was agreed to under the Obama administration that there would be set in effect a systematology whereby they were expecting to cultivate humanity as a, a form of agricultural product so that we could be harvested and turned over to those that had been self-anointed as some godlike figure. Now, there's a variety of ways you can understand it. Presumably, at least, my sun sign is in Taurus. The bull. But the bull without the cow is what? Hmm? You just make everybody into cows and get your brand and burn them. Right? You don't need a whole lot of bulls, especially if he has endurance, right? I take significant offense to such primitive debasement. And it will not abide. Now, if you thought that you could command the global executive functioning and then select your prime cuts for yourself and then have the entire world bonded so that you could get your compensation within 10 years. Time's up. You did not meet the standards to qualify in part because you did not succeed in your devolution. There are still enough of us that understand the purpose of humanity. If the maker has not taken us, who the fuck do you think you are that you will? Time's up. You understand? Now, they did this thing in Houston. They thought it was cute. They wanted to play with the 24, make it a 26. Apparently they didn't deliver. And now the compressions come. I can't do anything about that. You understand? You had plenty of time to reconsider what it meant to intentionally operate in a void of wisdom. And it's no longer an option. It would have behooved you to have gone through the very necessary primary elements of healing, the expiation that is a part of confessing the affliction, including the affliction on your own soul and spirit that comes with knowingly and willingly engaging in conspiracy to offend your own soul calling. Did you really think your sole calling was to enslave the planet, pick your favorites, and then auction the rest off? Sorry, your time has already come and gone. You liquidated too much, very, very good, good, good stock. 
and there's none left for you anymore. There's enough of us that can endure without making a sport for you to film, if you know what I mean. We can wait. We don't have much longer to wait. Your time is done. If you weren't able to negotiate a better rate in the termination of a contract that you should have understood and accepted already was fraud to begin with, before you got to this point, you got to pay. And I can't do anything about that. Everything that could have been done about that would have been done when you acknowledged my attorney general. But you didn't want to do that. You had other priorities, and that's not an option anymore. If you got to meet that 26, then you're going to have to fucking meet it. You should have met her, but you didn't. And we are where we are. And that's all I have to say about this. I am not going to make a video tomorrow. I'm not going to make a video the day after. My birthday, at least in the solar calendar, is the 15th of May. I'll see you at 44.